welcome to News Across Nigeria. I am Millicent Walker. Coming up on the program, it's an emotional session in Abuja today as the Bring Back Our Girls campaigners hold first lecture to push for the girls' release. An Amber State Governor flags off International Airport City Project. And the tribunal in Edo State affirms Godwin Obasaki as elected governor of the state. begin with campaigners of the Bring Back Our Girls group Climax, their week-long activities to commemorate the third year anniversary of the Chibok Girls abduction with an inaugural lecture. The event had its theme, Where Goes Our Girl Child, Our Nation Goes. The Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi I, who has been quite vocal on issues bedeviling Nigeria's development, was the guest speaker. The Emir's speech was presented by his daughter, calling for more to be done for the girl child and for the federal government to work double hard to secure the missing 195 girls. It was an emotional moment when, with parents pouring out their hearts as they spoke of their anguish waiting for their daughters to return home. The Global Week of Action will be marked in Lagos, Abuja, New York and Paris. In the meantime, the chairperson of the lecture, a professor of mathematics and former vice-chancellor of the University of Benin, Professor Grace Alele Williams, is challenging the Nigerian Army, police and other security operatives to search for the remaining missing girls. The girls were abduct abducted rather, from Government College on the 14th of April 2014 from the college. Professor Alele Williams believes that a lot more can be done to bring back the remaining 195 girls. What stops the Nigerian army? What stops the Nigerian police? What stops all those people who are in one type of uniform or another bringing back our girls? How could, how could, how could we sit down comfortably taking more and more money for, for whatever jobs we do if we allowed those girls to sit out there. And by the way, what happened? That some people came into one country, Nigeria. Some of them were Nigerians. Some of them were not. And they did a very simple thing. They just brought buses. They went to a school in the middle of the night. They drove our girls out of the school into the lorries and buses and they moved them on to the next state. Please bring back these poor girls and clean the hearts of poor mothers. Clean their hearts. Make them sleep happily. For three years we can't do it. When I think about it, I can't understand. Do we think about them at all? If we don't, please may I beg of each one of you here, not only from northeastern Nigeria, but from every part of Nigeria, ask the question. Ask the question over and over again. Has the Chibok affair become too late to even think about? Is it not an important part of us? Did that school do something bad for the principal, the education office, the minister of education, the senator in that part of the country, to completely neglect them? Why? If they have not, neglect, if they have not neglected them, please let them tell us what these girls are now doing. Why are they there? By this time next year, all our girls should be back. All of them should be back. All of them should be back. 
Dr. Grace Alela Williams, a professor of mathematics education. And it's exactly three years since the abduction of over 200 girls from the girls' secondary school in Chibok, Bornu State, northeast Nigeria. President Mahmoud Bari used the occasion to restate his administration's commitment to ensuring that all captives are freed. A press statement from the presidency outlined the achievements of the military in fighting the Boko Haram sect while thanking the parents of the girls for their support. In the president's words, as a parent, I am eternally grateful to God that some of the girls were found alive and have been reunited with their families. Government is doing all within its power to reintegrate the freed girls to normal life. Furthermore, the government is in constant touch through negotiations and through local intelligence to securing the release of the remaining girls and other abducted persons unharmed. End of quote. The president appealed to Nigerians not to lose hope for the return of the remaining schoolgirls. Meanwhile, the President of Senate, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has called for concerted efforts to bring back the over 200 Chibok schoolgirls. Speaking on the third year anniversary of the abduction, he pledged that the Senate will continue to do everything within its powers to advocate for the safe return of the missing girls, which according to him will signify the closure of a dark chapter in Nigeria's history. Dr. Saraki also expressed optimism that one day all the Chibok girls will be reunited with their loved ones, while reassuring Nigerians and the international community that the government will not stop looking for them. Elsewhere, the federal government says it is happy with the return of peace to the northeast and is proposing an innovation hub. This is in order to take advantage of technology in solving humanitarian problems in the area. Vice President Professor Yemi Shibaju announced this during his visit to Yola, the Adamawa State capital, where he commissioned some roads constructed by the Mohamed Jibrila administration. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Shibaju, arriving at Jola Airport in Adamawa State, northeast Nigeria. He was received by the state governor, Mohamed Jibrila, security officials, clergymen and others. From the airport to the main event, the vice president says the humanitarian crisis here will now be resolved with a new dimension. The federal government's proposed innovation hub for the northeast will be here in Adama State in partnership with the, uh, with the American University and the other institutions. The first step will be a makeathon working with the ICRC's global innovation team, which will give an opportunity to internally displaced persons to become active parts of the process to provide solutions to the problems they face every day using technology. This will give Nigeria an opportunity to work with international organizations to export innovative humanitarian solutions to other parts of the world. The state governor commends the efforts of the president in the fight against insurgency and restoring peace to the northeast. After the talks, the VP paid a courtesy visit to the Lamido of Adamawa, His Royal Highness Dr. Barkindo Muhammadu Aliyu Mustafa, I was honored with a traditional title. Next is the commissioning of the newly constructed road in Jimeta area of Yola, named after President Muhammadu Buhari and his vice. New hope has also come for the people of Adenawa State, as the federal government says it's set to create a microcredit program for market women the youth and those with vocational skills.